great to be speaking with you again. I'd love to dive in a little bit more now about what to expect from Veritas, particularly hands-on at the booth. Absolutely, I appreciate it, Sally. And so what you can expect at the booth at KubeCon is primarily there, there will be a lot of Veritas experts, including myself there, and we will uh, be fielding your questions and we'll give you an opportunity to ask us any question that you like around data protection, security, compliance and governance, and also application resiliency as well. So we'll, we'll be there. We're gonna have our whiteboards so we can get up, we can draw things out. And we'll also have some stations that you can click around and you can actually see the product live as well. Um, and don't forget that session that we also have from one of our uh, distinguished architects uh, as well. So we uh, really appreciate the opportunity to, to speak with you and I just look forward to really seeing you there. Oh, absolutely. And it's definitely that keynote session is a fantastic one, isn't it? That's on the Friday. Um, Peta Sven session. I think it's called Achieving Data Protection and Business Continuity for Kubernetes Applications. It's so on point in terms of top trends at the moment. So really is one to watch. And I love what you were saying there as well about being hands on at the booth, kind of the whiteboarding, design thinking, really facilitating some of the challenges and opportunities and working with people. There's nothing better than doing that in person as they're being hands on and kind of learning by doing as well, trying some of the demos and things. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, I am super excited because I'm sure the energy uh, just right there at the booth that there also will be a lot of different partners uh, is there, uh, there as well. Uh, Microsoft has a big booth. I think AWS also has a big booth as well. And there are quite a few and I think they're capping it at 10,000 people on the showroom floor. Uh, so it's going to be quite a few people and not to mention the multitudes of people that will be joining virtually as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Best of both that in-person activity at the booth, you were saying, that opportunity to have that meeting, be in person, and as we said, look at those challenges and opportunities together, but also support online as well. So if you can't be out, you've got that power of connection and learning online as well. So I think that's fantastic. And, and again, so many key trends converging at the moment. And I think you really touched on one very naturally there too, in terms of the power of the ecosystem, the partnerships you mentioned there, they really are making such a difference. And what I've always loved about KubeCon is the power of community. It's always been at the fore, hasn't it? Absolutely, it definitely has. And also one other thing, if when you're talking about community, you're talking about a lot of people, but also to throw in there how important disaster recovery is and just making sure that your Kubernetes clusters are resilient, uh, both locally and also across uh, ge geographically dispersed deployments as well. And so I'm really looking forward to having lots of conversations. And I'm sure I may not know all the answers, but we're gonna have some smart, smart people standing by at the booth to to have those conversations and get super techie and super geeky with you. Like it's super geeky, that's a t-shirt again, isn't it? I love that. <laughs> smart thinking, smart tech all coming together. I love it. Can't get better, can it? Brilliant stuff. So much to look forward to and can't wait to be sharing more throughout the event with you too. Brilliant stuff.